We're here at Dr. Liggins and Mrs. Liggins' home. Dr. Liggins was the principal of McKinley High School in 1972. We're interested in hearing from him, given this is our 45th high school reunion from McKinley Tech. Dr. Liggins, what words do you have to say to welcome uh, this class? It is a great pleasure and a great honor for me to have to say welcome to the class of 1972. And the, all the classes that we had were great, but this is one that stands out in my mind. And I'm thankful for being able to do the things that I have done. This is the 45th class reunion they have, and, and I want to let them know that I miss them, just like they probably were happy to see me get out of there so they could graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lickens, clearly you're interested in children and you, you want to uh, make sure that their education uh, is quality education. Talk a little bit about how you became the principal of McKinley Tech. All right. The principal of McKinley Tech was Maddie Taylor was one on the Board of Education. And, uh, and she would always stop by the different schools. She was in love with McKinley. And she felt, and so, so some of the time they would want to put some other principals there. I didn't apply for it because I didn't think I would get it. And so I said, so, and I was driving my cab at night, had my radio on in my cab, and had two passengers sitting in the back seats. And these passengers uh, would listen to it. It was about 12 o'clock at night, and around 12.30, they said they were going to go to the restaurant to get some food. So they said, you just drop us off here, and we'll wait, and another cab will come along. I said, okay. So I did. I went. I drove them to the place and stopped and, and took them in and uh, so they could get breakfast. And when they uh, got breakfast, we got in the cab. They said, well, take us down to the, to the other place, which I did. I, I said, well, you come on, since we wait this long. And got in there, and I had my radio on, and they said, you know, we got some news about the high, McKinley Tech High School, about the uh, principal, and who is selected as principal. And I had a young lady in the back. She was uh, uh, very, very intelligent, very listening. She said she graduated from some of the schools around there. I said, oh, that's wonderful. And so on the, the announcer said, we got some very big news for you right now. So they have finally, all evening, it's after one o'clock now, he says, and, and they've just decided on who they're going to uh, vote on for, for the principal of McKinley Tech. And I didn't pay attention because I didn't apply for it, so I said, well, let me just listen to them. And, uh, but then the traffic got kind of heavy and I was just dodging this car and dodging that car and everything. I said, so the lady in the back says, whoa, she starts screaming. I said, what's wrong back there? I jumped up and she says, you don't know. We just got a new principal at McKinley Tech. I said, oh, you did. And it didn't bother me because I hadn't applied. So she says, we got a man that, uh, that his name is Liggins, Athel Q. Liggins. I still was trying to dodge some traffic, and I didn't quite hear it all. And so she, she, a little young lady hit me on the shoulder and said, you know him? Said, you said you went to uh, this school there uh, at uh, these uh, schools around. I said, yeah, I know him. Uh, but I said, I don't know who. And she, and she said his name was Liggins. I said, hey, wait a minute. I looked at my manifest on the top of my cab. My cab. I, said, I said, what was his first name? They said, she said, well, they said his name was Ethel or Ethel or somebody. I said, what? I haven't applied for any school. <laughs> I said, there's something wrong here. And uh, I said, well, I'll, I'll drop you off. They want to go to the restaurant. I said, I'm going to drop you off at the restaurant. I'm going home because I got to get some rest. So on the way home, they made the announcement again. And says, Doctor, uh, said Athel Q. Liggins has been appointed principal of McKinley Tech. You did not know that you were the principal? I did not know. They selected you without letting you without know ahead of time. Know. Everybody else knew before you knew. That's right. And you know who was the main person to, let, to, to put, help get me that job? Maddie Taylor. Maddie Taylor was a member of the Board of Education. And she would come by anytime I needed anything and help me in every way. Dr. Liggins, okay, you're now the principal at McKinley Tech. 
It's 1972. Mm -hmm. What did you find interesting in this new position at um, McKinley? Well, one of the things I found interesting about McKinley Tech is everybody thought that if you go into McKinley Tech, you got to be the top scholar, you got to be the best of everything. That's what they told me when they said, say, you ain't going to like that school boy. I said, I said, what? They said, yeah. So after I had been there for about a year, and students were always getting involved in some little kind of trouble or something, and so they sent them to my office. Most of the times, the counselors would take care of it and, and let me know, and I would go ahead and say, no, we're not going to put them out here, I'll take care of it. So these boys came, and uh, just a couple of them, they sent to my office. And I said, well, have a seat, young man, because I'm working on something right now, but you all have a seat. Well, we don't even worry about having a seat, because you're going to uh, throw us out anyhow. <laughs> I said, what do you mean I'm going to throw you out? I said, what, what, where are you from? No, I'm, we don't worry about that. Uh, the teachers told us when we came down here, said, you're going to suspend us. I said, no, they didn't hire me for suspension. They hired me to t for education. I said, so you just take a seat there and be quiet, and we will in a minute I'll be with you. And I think you're going to look like, I, I looked at the young man, I said, you know what, you'll look like fine young men. And, and boy, boy said, does he know we're supposed to be suspended? <laughs> 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 and I told him, I said, well, now, you, you let me know what went on in that, uh, they, while the teacher sent you down here. And, and anyway, I said, oh, but you know what they did for me? They sent me here to educate the students, not to suspend them. So I'm not suspending anybody. I don't, that's not part of my job. I may be the principal, but I don't suspend people. And they looked at me like I was crazy. You know, Dr. Liggins, that's an excellent legacy that you're leaving. One of the things that the class of 1972 remembers the most is uh, a movie star that visited the school, Richard Roundtree, who starred in the movie called Shaft. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got in the yearbook a picture of Richard Roundtree and yourself walking down the hall surrounded by students. And I was wondering, how did you, were you able to get Richard Roundtree to come and visit McKinley? Well, I had somebody downtown that uh, knew me pretty well, and they knew I was one of the best at McKinley. And so when he was in town, they called me, this fellow who was on the, uh, the, in the office, said, you know, Richard Roundtree is here. And I said, well, that's good. I said, I got some students that need some help from him to inspire them to always want to come to school. I said, so well, tell Richard to come on down in here. And so they they looked at me and said, you mean tell me? Yeah, come in. So when Richard came down, I said, Richard, how you doing, buddy? I said, you finally found us, huh? <laughs> he looked, he said, no, they told me your name is Liggins. I said, yes, that's it. And I, say, I said, now I'm so happy that you're here because I got uh, two or three young men that need a little guidance from somebody that's already made it. What's the most memorable moment you had as the principal at McKinley Tech High School? About that, Miss Liggins. Uh, well, I know that he his greatest moments always was graduation exercise. So many students graduating, and I attended every graduation class uh, that he was while he was principal there. Those were his greatest moments. If you could see the light in his eyes and the smile on his face, knowing I have achieved this, it was always at least seven hundred students marching in there, and everyone just grabbed him like he was the greatest thing since soap. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing for sure, the class of 1972 really appreciated what you've done. You were the first, uh, you were at McKinley the first uh, time during uh, 1972. You did a wonderful job. We, the graduates, appreciate what you've done, and we appreciate you and Ms. Liggins taking the time to talk to us today about this. So thank you very much.